About 44% of Singapore's corals have undergone bleaching, with an estimated 5% killed because of that. Caitlin Ng takes a look at the factors that affect recovery and what's being done to protect our coral. Vibrant and teeming with life, coral reefs are often called the rainforests of the sea. But beneath the surface, a crisis is unfolding. We've lost a lot of our deeper water reefs. By deeper, I mean around, you know, beyond six to seven meters. When in the night, when in the 1980s, you know, early 90s, we had our reefs extending to, uh, say, 10 meters and and beyond. We've we've actually lost a lot of it. Um, and uh, previously at that depth, uh, you know, six, seven, you know, even eight meters, we would have maybe about, uh, on average, 30 percent live coral cover. Now we are having maybe, you know. 5% <laughs> uh, if we're lucky on most of our reefs. Dr. Tanzil explains that factors like increased human activity and pollution have taken a toll on our reefs. Another is a phenomenon known as coral bleaching. Corals, which are made up of small animals called polyps, host tiny algae, which feed it and give it colour. When stressed by rising temperatures or pollution, corals expel the algae, losing their main food source and leaving a ghostly white husk behind. Singapore experienced major bleaching events in 1998, 2010, 2016 and again just last year as a result of unprecedented marine heat waves. In May last year, sea surface temperatures ranged from 30 to close to 32 degrees, far higher than the ideal temperature, which is between 23 and 29 degrees. Following the most recent bleaching event, it is estimated that 5 to 10 percent of corals surrounding Singapore's waters did not make it. But scientists remain hopeful. In between these massive bleaching events, our corals are still able to um, survive it. And in a way, and we think uh, there could be reasons why there's some resilience. It's just like, you know, if you um, are exposed to um, the environment a bit more, you build your natural resilience. Like you always say, if you get a flu, that builds your natural resilience. And perhaps that works in the same way as uh, in corals and, and the animal kingdom as well. Researchers are now working to identify climate-resilient corals and find ways to improve their survival. Over at the Sea Aquarium, coral propagation works have been ongoing for over 10 years. Now, they're looking to expand these efforts to potentially contribute young corals to future reef restoration work. Coral reproduction uh, happens only once a year, so they spawn and release their first and eight bundles once a year. And this usually only happens in a very short period of time. We hope that we are able to replicate that, but in an aquarium setting. As Singapore aims to plant 100,000 corals in the surrounding waters, researchers stress that education remains key. Because saving reefs isn't just about science. It's about changing behaviours above the water too.